Okay, so uh, good day everyone. So again, this is Miss Divine Grace Francisco, and I am your instructor to this subject, Human Rights Education. Okay, so uh, we're now here at the last uh, chapter of this subject. Okay, so uh, this is all about uh, the Article 3, uh, Bill of Rights of the 1987 Philippine Constitution. Okay, so um, reminder na lang din, ano? So uh, ito ang yung uh, final project. Okay, so probably project 1. And uh, the last project, so okay na yan. Wag na natin uh, gawin yung project number 2, ano? Okay, so dito na lang tayo, focus tayo with the project 1, which is a uh, memorization. Ay, uh, from Article 1 until, uh, ah, sorry, sorry, hindi pala Article, Section 1 ng Article 3 until Section uh, 22. Okay, so uh, lahat yan, ano? So you memorize that one. And then at the same time, you understand the, the concept of those uh, section, yung nilalaman ng Article 3. Okay, so that uh, understanding, ang inyong uh, understanding sa concept na itong Bill of Rights, so that would be assessed in your final examination. Okay, so uh, let me reiterate that our final examination is from the top. Okay, so that is simula sa simula, mula introduction ay, ng human rights, ganun. Okay, so uh, doon sa history, okay, so saan pa? Okay, so international bill, so instrumenting international bill, and then until dito. Okay, so lahat from the top. Okay, so uh, kaya niyo yun. So good luck. Okay, so uh, final examination. So I think that would be uh, next uh, week. I don't if I am right. So uh, you just, uh, ano, no? uh, you just uh, wait for my announcement in our EPRO group. But then I, I think that is 14 to 19. So next week na siya. Okay, so um, good luck. So let us know what start para matapos na itong paghihirap ninyo. Okay, so... Um, Okay, so uh, we have uh, the section 1 ng Article 3, uh, Bill of Rights. Okay, so sabi dito, <coughs> is that is, uh, wala daw tao, okay, ang uh, madedeprive ang, li ang life, okay, liberty and pro or property. Okay, so alin man sa tatlong yon, life, liberty, or property. When you say deprive, if you will uh, search uh, the word literally, no, in vocabulary term, yung isa pa sila, deprive, uh, that is somewhat in the concept of denial. Okay, so ibig sabihin, isa sa walang bahala, gano'n. Eh parang wala lang, ay walang pakialam, gano'n. Kung may uh, makikil ang buhay, ay so dapat hindi gano'n. So wala daw tao, ay so uh, that should be uh, deprived of their life, buhay. Okay, so ibig sabihin, hindi pwedeng basa-basa papatay, ano. Ay so uh, yung kalayaan, liberty, property, mga pag-aari. Okay, so but then there are instances that uh, there could be a deprivation of life, but there should be a due process of law. So when you say due process of law, so that is somewhat in uh, in the concept of legal proceeding. Okay? So there should be legal proceeding. Ano? Okay, so there there would be person that could be uh, deprived of their life. So pwedeng may, uh, kumbaga, iyanin nila yung kalayaan. Okay, so uh, ano? Yeah, ano? Okay, so uh, ano bang tawag doon? Ano bang tawag sa term na yon? Okay, so uh, deprivation of liberty. Okay, so ikukulong mo ang isang tao. Alisin mo sa kanya ang karapatan niya maging malaya okay, sa lahat ng bagay. Okay, so pwede naman yung but there should be a due process of law. So probably that due process of law is ano ba? Meron ba siyang nakumit na crime? Okay? Meron siyang nakumit na crime, meron siyang nagawa na labag sa batas, and then ang sanction kasi nun is pagkakakulong. Okay, so ganon. Ano? So uh, sa life, okay, so pwede rin. Okay, so but there should be due process of law. There should be a legal proceeding. Okay, so ano ba? May nagawa ba siyang pagkakasala? And then, ang talaga bang ang penalty niyan ay pagkamatay? So but then, uh, wala naman death penalty sa atin ngayon, di ba? So that is already uh, prohibited by virtue of what a special law is that Republic Act. Uh, I forgot. O basta ganun. Baka wala nang sa atin yun ngayon, di ba? And that is already uh, prohibited. Okay, and so deprivation of life. Okay, so if there will be any deprivation of life, so there should be a due process. Okay, so there should be a due process. And, and another is so, uh, nor shall any person be denied of equal protection of the law. So lahat tayo dapat, ano, pantay-pantay ang protection na nakukuha sa batas. So mapa ikaw man ay victim, ikaw ba ay uh, criminal offender, ikaw ay uh, adult one, or you are a man, you are a woman, so lahat tayo. Ano, that patayin pantay ang protection na kukuha sa batas. Okay, so actually, uh, bago ma-overlook, ano, 
Okay, so uh, this uh, constitution, yung constitution natin. So again, uh, way back uh, to our uh, discussion uh, last, uh, for the last chapters, di ba? Okay, so our constitution is formulated based on an international law, probably. Okay, so that would be our basis. That is our basis. And then uh, by virtue also of uh, the type of government that we have, which is the democratic government. So kung makapansin ninyo, halos lahat dyan sa section ng Bill of Rights is no person, no person, equal protection of laws. Kasi... And that is one of the elements of uh, a democratic government. So, para masabi mo na yan ay democratic government. So, aside the way the, the people have the power to choose uh, kung sino ang mga ano, no, uupo dyan ay, uh, with, uh, ano, no, with our uh, government positions. So, they have, uh, I think, doon na tayong mga election, di ba? Aside with that, so lahat ng rights, ay, so uh, that is uh, para sa lahat. Ayan daw ang pinakaanan ng democratic government. Ano? Ay, sa kaya ganyan, no person, so there should be equal protection of laws because that is, this is, uh, this constitution is bound for a democratic government. Okay? So, uh, ngayon, sa Bill of Rights, so lahat ng mga mababasa natin dito, ay, so that is what? Ayan yung mga karapatan. Okay? Ayan yung uh, mga ano natin, ano? Ay, so, uh, in a democratic government. So, sa democratic government, so ito, ito ang ating mga rights. Okay, so again, okay, so uh, this constitution, so this is the Philippine constitution, ha? Okay, so, uh, syempre, kung ibang constitution yan, ay maring iba ang kanilang mga nakasaad na rights. Ano, saan nakasaad na karapatang pantao, okay, or mga pinapatupad nila sa government nila, the way uh, they run their government. Okay, so uh, ito ay for democratic type, eh. Kung iba ang type ng government, so maaaring may kaibahan. Okay, so merong kaibahan. Ano, Okay, so uh, again, so section 1 natin, so uh, that's the main role. So, no person shall be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor shall any be denied of the equal protections of the law. Okay, okay so one other, so uh, this is for section 2. So, ang karapatan ng mga tao, pero basahin na, alam ko na mamemorize sa memories nito ito eh. At sa karapatan ng mga tao na masecure, okay, ang kanyang mga, kanilang mga pag-aari, ay yung bahay nila, mga papeles nila, so lahat ng yon ano, Against what? Against this one. Against unreasonable searches and seizures. Okay, so those reasonable searches and seizures. So probably, ano ba? Uh, are you part of uh, investigation? Okay, kasi kung hindi ka part ng investigation and then, ano, halugugin namin yung bahay ninyo, that is an unreasonable search. Ano? Or kung may kinuha kami, that is an unreasonable seizure. Pag seizure, kinuha, search, hinalughog. Okay, so probably uh, this uh, section 2, Okay, so this is ano to, uh, pinaka-operational instrument nito is yung sa part ng RPC natin, di ba? Okay, so sa RPC natin, so meron tayong pinatawag na violation of domicile. May ganun, di ba? Tapos meron tayong pinapunish din. Kasi na violation of domicile, ano, may, na, 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 kakandak sila without the consent, consent of a person. Yung may-ari ng bahay, mag, maghahalugug sila dyan, walang consent. Ay, so, pwede naman walang consent, pero may search warrant ba? Kung walang search warrant, that is, uh, ano, that is already uh, violating the rule of the RPC. So, pwede yan sa so violation of domicile. Ano? So, pwede naman may search warrant ka. Pero yung mga hinahanap mo naman, wala naman doon sa search warrant. Okay? So, that is part of this one. That is an operational uh, operational instrument. Okay? Itong uh, section 2 ano, ng Constitution. Okay? So, kaya tayo may ganung batas. So, that is... Uh, Yung batas natin na yun, that is, this is what? This is based on, a, this is part of our constitution. Ano? Sa Bill of Rights natin. Okay? Because this is a democratic government. So, hindi pwedeng ganon ang mangyayari. Ano? Okay? So, uh, ayun. Okay? So, uh, and, meron pa yan. So, hindi lang yan. Ano? So, walang search warrant or warrant of arrest shall issue except upon probable cause. Okay? So, ito, uh, sa mga ito punish. Okay? So, may search warrant na maliciously obtained na tinatawag. Okay, so maliciously obtained. Okay, so that is, uh, yun yung title ha, sa RPC. So pinapanish natin yan. Okay, and that is bound by the section, section 2 ng 1987 Constitution. So bawal yun. Ay, meron nga gano, may search one. O meron ding warrant of arrest, pero wala namang probable cause. So bawal yun. Ano? So dapat tinedetermine niya ng judge after examination, under oath, or affirmation of the complainant. Okay, so uh, yan. So mga witnesses, ano ba? Ay, so, ito, probably, meron din tayong uh, pinapanish by virtue of this uh, section 2 din ng Constitution. O meron tayo sa RPC, yun, ano? Uh, Binababag, once na walang witness, ano, so, uh, dyan sa bahay, hindi ka pwede mag-search basta-basta. 
Hindi ka pwedeng kumuha ng mga ano dyan. May mga tatlong options dyan eh. Kung wala ang owner, yung relatives, ay so kung wala talaga, eh di at least uh, tatlong citizens ng barangay. Kung wala talaga, hindi pwede yun. Okay, that is uh, unconstitutional. And then probably that is also uh, punishable in under RPC, Revised Penal Code. Ano? Ay, so yun yung section 2. Okay, so uh, next, uh, dito sa section 3, ano? so this is uh, divided into two subsections. Okay, so yung una dyan, so probably itong section 3, that is all about, uh, uh, somewhat in uh, ano yan, sa privacy natin with our communication. So mga pag-usap natin, ay, so sa mga pinag-exchange natin ng uh, uh, information, ng mga messages, when you say correspondence, ano, respond, came from the term is of respond. Okay, so somewhat uh, related to the exchange of information, like exchange kayo ng letters, exchanging messages uh, through different forms of social media, ganon. Okay, so sa section 3, nasabi dyan, ay so, um, ay so this is also part of ano, no, ay karapatan na kinoconsider natin, ay so uh, under a democratic government. So, ay mga communication, so we can have it privately, you know, okay, and then uh, there should be nothing na dapat iano natin yan na uh, okay lang ang mga pinag-uusapan ng iba dyan, except, I take note about this one, except upon lawful order of the court, Okay, or when public safety or order requires otherwise as prescribed, so as prescribed by law na yan. Okay, so that is uh, saan yan? Some part yan ng RPC. Okay, so that is operational, ano, yung section 3 na yan. Ay, uh, with the part ng RPC na, except na kapag yan pang nag-uusapan ninyo, kasi is somewhat related with the crime of espionage. Okay, or anything that is uh, related with the crime against national security, you are talking about, uh, you are bound for talking uh, against uh, how you will overthrow the government. Okay, so, uh, yan, exception yan dito. Ano, exception yan dito sa section 3 ng Constitution. So, hindi yan, yung bisabihin, yung batas na yon, yung part ng RPC natin na yon, okay, so that is not unconstitutional. That is still uh, okay. That is part of our, ano, uh, of the rights that is being considered in a democratic government. Ay, so, uh, yun nga, exempt, exemption lang syempre, ay kapag yung uh, mga usapan na yan, tingin namin yung pag-uusapan dyan, ano, is uh, somewhat related with being against with the government. And so, not totally against lang uh, perspectively, ay, but then, uh, yun nga, uh, nagpo-fall ba yan with the crime against national security? So, we have treason, we have espionage, meron tayong, ano pa iba doon? Rebellion. Ganon. Okay, so uh, ayan. Eh, so privacy of communication. Eh, privacy of communication. Okay, so uh, yeah, meron na tayong uh, other instruments na we also have uh, the anti-war tapping act. Okay, so uh, that war, anti-war tapping act, this is bound for this uh, section. Okay, so section 3, any evidence of any violation of this, or precision section shall be inadmissible. Okay, so kapag kaganon, halimbawa, uh, nag-wart up kayo para malaman kung talagang siya ba ang nang-rape in that particular uh, person, uh, it might be inadmissible pagdating sa korte kasi hindi naman yan eh, ano ba, that is maliciously obtained. Okay, so that is considered na hindi yan obtained ng maayos. Okay, so uh, ang exception lang naman natin dyan is uh, ano ba, crime against national security ba yan? Okay, so sa atin na nasa Pilipinas. Okay. Okay, so uh, section 4, so no law shall be passed abridging. Ay, when you say abridging, edi isa sa walang bahala. Okay, so wala dapat tayong batas. Na ito, ito kakaroon siya ng conflict dito kasi in a democratic form of government. So uh, people should have freedom of speech. Okay, so una yung freedom of speech. Okay, so uh, they can have, uh, ano ba, mga gusto nila sabihin, sabihin nila, express nila, ano of the press, of the right of people peaceably to assemble. Pwede rin uh, mag-create sila ng mga organization, peaceably assemble, okay, mag-usap-usap in a group of person. Okay, o di kaya they will uh, express uh, their grievances ano, uh, with the, the government. It's okay because this is part of a democratic government. And yung wala dapat tayong i-create na batas na against that. Kasi kung yan, ito, ano, natatapakan yung ganito natin yung freedom of speech, Okay, so uh, our right to have a peaceably ay assembly. Peaceful, na, peaceful naman ah. Wala namang, uh, uh, wala namang affection. Okay, hindi naman maaapektuhan ay yung majority ng population natin with this assembly. So, uh, but why should I know? No? Uh, but then, uh, do not be confused. Yung law mismo yan. Ano? If we will pass 
ay alo ay na magkakaroon ng conflict ito na hindi na talaga tayo pwede masalita, hindi na tayo pwede nga uh, ipagbawal kung ano yung mga hinanain natin ay uh, with the government ano so uh, or hinanain natin na uh, yung ano natin ba yung call natin sa kanilang attention na pahingi ng tulong with the government then that is uh, meron siya ditong part no ay na hindi okay with our constitution kasi sa constitution ito section 4 na to that is one of uh, the right that we should we should consider ay so uh, whenever uh, we uh, have our this our government today kasi ang government natin is democratic government and this is part of uh, of our ano no how uh, we mga paano natin pinapatakbo ang demokratikong gobyerno okay okay so another ay so walang batas Okay, shall we make respecting and establishment of religion? I relate mo. Ay so create ka ng batas na to para ano, uh, mas itaas natin ng respeto natin sa particular na relihiyon, hindi pwede. Okay, so or para itong uh, ganap sa relihiyon na to ay maging uh, legal, hindi pwede 'yon. Okay, so uh, hindi ganoon. Okay, shall we make respecting and establishment of religion? So, oh mga Ah, uh, not totally right to religion. So, pwede naman. Eh, that is part of it, of section 5. 5, but uh, the law and uh, the church, okay, or religion should be separated. Okay, so the free exercise of enjoyment of religious profession. So, you have uh, the free to exercise it. Okay, so, um, ganon. Ay, so, without discrimination of preferences, so forever allowed. So, free exercise of religious profession and worship. I know religious test shall be required. Ay, so, ayun nga, in short, ay, so, yung religion and yung batas natin, pag-create natin ng batas natin ay magkaiba. Okay? So, at the same time, wala ka rin kay-create na batas na makaka-affect, ano, in that particular religion. Okay? So, dapat magkaiba. Okay? Okay, so, section 6. Ay, so, the liberty of abode. So, again, uh, ang, I think ang liberty of abode ay nabanggit ko na rin to sa mga uh, nauna nating chapter, ano, Ay, abode is somewhat related to uh, titiran mo. Okay, so ngayon, yung lahat tayo may kanya-kanya tayong kalayaan kung saan tayo titira at kung saan natin gusto natin palipat-lipat ng bahay. Ano? As long as uh, that is what? As prescribed by the law. And shall not be impaired. Okay, so hindi yan matatanggal sa atin yung karapatan na yan ay under uh, this, ano, no, this type of government sa Pilipinas. Unless uh, there, is an, there is a lawful order ng court. Okay, so saan mga galing yung lawful order ng court? Ay, so probably yung mga lawful order ng court na yan, so that is part of uh, the, ano no, yung pag, uh, ano natin with our criminal law. Ay, usually yan, usually ganon, civil law. Ay, so sa mga batas natin, penalty minsan ay ibaban ka in a particular, ano diba, in a particular uh, place. O di kaya di ka pwedeng umalis ng bansa. Okay, so uh, probably that is because of what, so meron kang issue or you have a conflict with the law. Okay, so but then, uh, so wala naman, you are just a casual person, mabuting uh, mamamayan. Okay, so uh, you have uh, the liberty na mapalipat-lipat ang bayo sa mga gustong tumira. Okay, so ganon. Uh, neither does you accept a lawful order of the court. So yun yung sinasabi ko. Okay, so section 7, the, 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 the right of the people to information ay so on matters of public concern. Okay, shall be recognized. So lahat tayo may karapatan dito, no? Ay, uh, uh, probably na malaman okay, yung mga informasyon ay na-related uh, with the public. Okay? So, republic with the public. Ano? Okay, so, probably ito yon yung mga specific ano na yun, ano, access to official <coughs> sorry, uh, access to official records. Okay? So, yung mga documents, mga papers, official acts, transactions, decisions, ay mga government research data. Okay? So, for policy, more about the public concern. Yan. I guess, so meron tayo ano neto eh, meron tayong uh, instrument neto, di ba? Uh, that is, I think, Executive Order Number 2. So, uh, you try to search that about that one. Okay, so that is uh, open access to information. So, that is the time of uh, our President today, uh, kay uh, President Duterte, di ba? Okay, so uh, by that, yung Executive Order na yan, na-operationalize, ano, itong Section 7 ng uh, 1987 Constitution natin. Okay, so may procedures yon. Ay, sabi sabihin, halos lahat ng mga public records natin doon is uh, pwede na siya ma-access ng uh, individual. Except na siyempre, doon sa mga birth certificate na individual ang concern. Siyempre. Okay, so siyempre, we are also adhering with another law natin, na Data Privacy Act. Okay, so uh, ayun, by that, executive order, so we can request for it. Ay, so meron procedures yon 
Uh, so uh, that is probably the operational, uh, ano na ito, operational instrument ng Section 7, Article uh, 3 ng Bill of Rights ng Constitution. Okay? Okay, so Section 8, uh, karapatan ng mga tao, including those employed in public and private sectors to form a union. So kung sila, mga trabahador sila, okay, so uh, regardless kung yan ay private sector, yan ay public sector, so pwede silang, ano no, mag-create ng mga grupo. Pag sinabing unions, mga grupo, associations, eh, societies, ano. Okay, so but then, syempre, hindi pwedeng ang grupo na yan ay uh, somewhat uh, a threat na no? ng national security or threat, uh, ano ba? So, somewhat related na mag, ano kayo, ng crime, ganon, ay organized group, hindi pwede yun, ano. Okay, as long as hindi siya, ano, wala siya tatapang ibang karapatan. Uh, hindi siya magiging threat with the national security, hindi siya magiging threat sa ibang tao. Okay, so that's okay. Uh, you know, and the part of the that's part of democratic government. Okay, so uh, section nine, private property shall not be taken for public use without just compensation. So ganto, uh, so uh, not totally uh, democratic government tayo. Lahat nare na mga pag-aari natin para pareho na lang din for the public. Hindi ganon ha. Okay, so uh, it is indicated here na pag, pag private property, so pwede naman siya for public use, but the, but then there should be a just compensation as niya sabi. Pag sinabing just compensation, just, justified, okay? So, may equivalent na papalit, may compensation, may reward, ganon. Eh, but then, hindi yung pwede na, basta-basta na lang na, ba, ito yung property mo, private property ko. So, kailangan to ng ano, ng ano natin. Eh, eh pwede bang, itong gamitin natin pang ano, pang bomba, paglinis ng ano, paglinis ng community, ganon, kunyari. Kunyari, may truck siya na, ano, pwedeng lagyan ng maraming tubig, ganon. Kunyari lang, ano, ganon, ganon, ganon. And then, uh, there are uh, public authorities that will uh, compel, ay, na, ano yun yan, for public use, eh, private property yun. Ay, so, uh, pwede kung may consent, okay, so, uh, there should be compensation, but then, hindi pwedeng ganon, kasi, uh, private property and public property are magkaiba. Okay, magkaiba in a democratic government. Okay? Okay, so no law impairing obligation of contract shall be passed. So, wala dapat i-create na batas na halimbawa, kasi pa sinabi yung obligation of contracts. So, for example, uh, there are two uh, individual, uh, no, no, there are two individuals, okay, meron silang kumbaga, kapag bumali sa usapan nila, sa kanila lang yun may conflict, okay? So, may usapan sila, may pinag-agrihan sila. Ngayon, uh, so, if that is, uh, ano, uh, kumbaga sa kanila, kumbaga crime yan sa kanila. Ganon. Sa kanilang dalawa lang may issue dyan. Okay? So, now, if there are issues with those two persons, that is a private issue. Okay? So, wala tayo i-create na batas. That is, uh, regarding with that, i-impair natin. Okay? So, sabihin, merong batas na i-create para yung isa mas mag-benefit with the contract. And so, that should be, that, that should be uh, what? That should be uh, separated with our concept sa batas. Okay? So, ganon. Okay? As so a section 11, free access to the courts and other quasi-judicial bodies. So, lahat tayo, okay, bilang part ng democratic government. Eh, so, uh, walang bayad yun na. Okay, so, di ba, we can, uh, ano nga, we can observe sa court sa mga moot court ninyo, di ba? Meron kayong ganon. As in, di pa ata yung iba dito sa inyo. Eh, so, uh, sa gra mga graduating students yun eh, they can observe in the court uh, as long as may letter naman, di ba? Okay, so, observe na sila. Anong nangyayari ba sa korte? Eh? That is open for public. Eh, syempre, exception lang ay uh, yung mga crime na related sa rape, ganyan, mga bata. Exception yun. There are exceptions. Uh, but there are uh, yung case natin, yung mga courts natin, that is open for the public. And that is free, walang bayad. Ay, hindi yan parang field trip na kailangan babayaran nyo yung korte eh, para ano, makapanood kayo din. Eh, so, quasi judicial bodies. So, that is, um, uh, so, any, uh, aside with those judicial, ano, uh, judicial uh, officials, uh, officials sa, ano, sa judiciary body natin. Okay, so, they also have uh, the capacity to interpret law. Ayun yung quasi judicial body. So, isabihin, any uh, type of uh, judicial hearing, so, pwedeng hindi mismong korte talaga, yung alam natin na casual korte, so, lahat tayo doon have the free access. Okay, at the same time, you take on about this one, uh, we should have the adequate legal assistance Okay, so, um, adequate, when you say adequate, sapat. Okay, sapat na legal assistance. Okay, uh, so, uh, especially yung mga tao, okay, na hindi nila kaya, hindi nila afford, ano, ay na mag, uh, mag-hire ng attorney, no, private attorney. Okay, so, hindi pwedeng ang iba sa atin, ang dahil lang sa kahirapan, 
uh, they cannot have already uh, fulfilled their right to have legal assistance, a lawyer. Okay? So, kaya nga tayo may PAW. Ayan ang pinakaano natin dyan. Ano? Ay, so, once na ang tao, ay, uh, sabihin na natin, nagkaroon siya ng issue related the way of our law, ay, so, hindi niya kaya mag-afford ng private attorney. Magkana ba kapag mag-hire ka ng ganun, di ba? Ay, so, uh, there should be uh, a legal assistance with them. Okay, so probably yun nga yun, yung PAO natin, hindi lang, uh, we, we are avoiding na dahil lang sa kahirapan na hindi nila mapagtanggol sarili nila. Ano? As meron tayong mga PAO, public authorities. Okay? Okay, so uh, section 12, so probably uh, this is um, apat to, di ba? Okay, so that uh, apat ang subsection nito. Okay, so itong section 12, so this is uh, somewhat for those person under investigation. So you take it about that one. Okay, so yung mga tao na under investigation, not totally na convicted of crime, not totally na, na, na nag-commit na, no? Hindi pa siya totally na, ano talaga, na undergo with the trial. Okay, so uh, in-investigahan pa lang. So probably, uh, nasa hands pa lang siya ng ating law enforcement officers. Ano? Okay, so ayan. Uh, so ito ang mga kinoconsider natin, ano? Uh, with the person, kung ang tao man, isang tao man, ay under ng investigation. So anong mangyayari? So dapat, May ano niya, mafulfill niya yung karapatan niya na siya ay ma-inform. Okay, so siya ay uh, ma-orient. Okay, so dapat mapaalam sa kanya. Okay, ano ang dapat maipaalam sa kanya? So probably, unang-una, dyan lang kanyang karapatan na manahimik. Okay, so karapatan na manahimik. So pwede siyang hindi kagat pagkahuli mo sa kanya, ayaw niya magsalita, okay lang yun. Uh, so that is part of uh, the right of a person under a democratic government. And that is part of our right. Okay, right to remain silent. Okay, so at the same time, may pangalawa tayo. Eh, so magkaroon siya ng isang competent and independent counsel, preferably of his own choice. So pag sinabing uh, competent, eh di kaya siya ipagtanggol. Okay, kaya siya ipagtanggol. Independent, eh so uh, sabihin natin para sa kanya, walang walang ibang influence ng ano, kaya, independent. Eh kaya tumayo sa sariling pali, walang independent. Eh so sabihin, yung lawyer niya na yon sa kanya talaga, ano, without the influence of other, ano, other counsel, independent counsel. Okay? So, but then you think about this one, preferably of his own turn. So, meron naman kasi na ayaw nila, di ba? Di ba? Authority na sila mismo. Sila na mismo magtatanggol sa sarili nila. Pwede yun. Okay? So, pwede uh, magkaroon siya, manghingi siya ng counsel, ay mag-hire siya ng counsel, or pwede siya mismo matanggol sa sarili niya. Pwede yun. Okay? So, pwede yun. Preferably of his own choice. Okay? So, ngayon, eh, so merong uh, ibang tao na hindi nila kaya ano, na mag-hire ng sarili nilang counsel, ng kanilang lawyer, magtatanggol sa kanila. Eh, so, dapat, para providean sila. Okay? So, yan yung mga PAO natin. Okay? Public uh, attorney. Okay? So, uh, pwede yon Ano? Eh, so, pwede hindi na sila mag-attorney. So, yun yung sinasabi ko kanina. Meron namang iba na ayaw nila ng ibang tatanggol sa kanila. Eh, kung sila mismo, ano na eh, kaya nila pagtanggol sa sarili nila, di ba? Eh, so, pwede yon as long as they will waive this right Okay, in writing, okay, so sulat sila, and of course, in the presence of a counsel. Okay, so meron din. So, uh, probably itong part na to, I think, um, uh, pinaka-usual na sa inyo to, diba? this, this is the Miranda rights, diba? Okay, so once na ang isang tao ay in to, ay so dapat, yung uh, arresting officer, sasabihin niya yan, meron siyang right to remain silent, may karapatan ka manahimik, Tagalog nga ngayon, diba? May karapatan ka manahimik, kapag di niya sinabi yan, Okay, so the arrest could be uh, considered unconstitutional. Okay, if that is unconstitutional, so there is a possibility okay, that the case is it is dismissed kasi hindi proper ang pag-arrest sa kanya. Okay? Okay, so uh, ayan, so section 12, ito still, uh, this is still part of those uh, right of a person uh, under investigation. Okay, so bawal ang ano, ito muna yung nauna muna. Ay, so, bawal i-torture yan, mga yan. Hindi na na, dadweet na tayo dun sa perspective na ano, no? Ay, yung uh, trial by ordeal, di ba? Ay, so, kapag ka-anaresto, kailangan, ano, uh, ilublob mo sa tubig. Kapag namatay, guilty. Kasi hindi sinalba ng Diyos, hindi pwede yun. Okay? So, uh, ganun. So, no torture. Ay, so, bawal i-torture. Bawal persahin. Ay, bawal uh, bubugin. Takutin. Okay? So, para lang, ano, para lang siya ay uh, makapagsabi ano na mga bagay na mapapatunay na siya talaga papaaminin mo, puresahin mo aminin kahit hindi naman talaga niya dapat aaminin na ganon kasi hindi naman talaga niya ginawa pero dahil tinakot din niyo okay so that is unconstitutional ano 
Okay, so uh, secret and detention places, solitary and incommunicado, as another similar form of detention are prohibited. So, ganto. Uh, so, uh, hindi pwedeng uh, kung saan-saan nyo lang i-detain, ano? So, there should be a specific place na pinadetainan ng mga uh, lag, 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 under investigation. Okay, so incommunicado pa sinabi incommunicado. Ay, so, okay, pero na tayo yung incommunicado, communicate. Okay, so hindi communicate kung saan siya nakapunta, di ba? Ay, so, uh, bigla na lang nawala. Ay, so, uh, this is also part of ano eh, sa, ano, enforce, uh, yung pinag-usapan natin na bigla na lang siya nawala, tapos hindi naman sinabi kung nasa na napunta yung pala, hinuli pala siya ng authorities. Okay, so, uh, yun, ina-avoid natin yun. Ano? So, there should be a specific place, okay, na pinadedetainan sa kanila. Okay? Okay, so uh, section 12, uh, subsection 3. So, uh, lahat ng confession and admission. So, anong kinagkaiba ng confession and admission? Ay, sa so, pag uh, confession, so talagang uh, directly niyang inamin ano, na siyang pumatay. Opo, ako po ang pumatay kay Juan de la Cruz. Okay, but then pag admission, so meron na siyang mga bagay na inamin, kumbaga. Okay, so uh, but then not directly na inamin niya na siya talaga ano, ang uh, guilty with that particular offense. Okay, so uh, for example, di ba? Okay, so admission, so uh, what is just uh, admitted is, opo, uh, oo nga, akin nga po yung chinelas na yan na naiwan dun sa bahay ng biktima, pero hindi talaga ako pumatay. Okay, so uh, probably, uh, yung chinelas na naiwan, okay, so that is uh, one of the significant, significant part, ano, ay uh, nang kaso para mapatunayan kung sino talaga ang uh, criminal offender but then yun ang inamin niya di ba inamin niya yung para hindi talaga niya inamin eh halata naman na siya naman talaga di ba kasi kung sa kanya yung chinelas na yun wala namang ibang pupunta doon kundi yung ano lang criminal offender lang so that is admission okay so uh, now ay so ang confession at admission okay so uh, obtained in violation of this so sabihin na natin na may uh, threat ay may force may intimidation Okay, na nangyari ay para makuha niyo yung confession admission na yan, binugbog niyo muna para makuha niyo yung confession na yan. So that would be inadmissible. Okay, so itong section 17, okay, so that is what? Uh, sige nga sa mga nakasolid ba? No person shall be uh, a witness against himself. So di ba, yun yun. So hindi ka dapat, hindi ka dapat maging witness sa sarili mo. So that is probably uh, a right, your right, ano no, against the self-incrimination. Okay, so kung kapag ka ganon, Ay, so, na-violate yung dalawang yun, ay, either uh, with this, uh, ano, no, with those uh, section, ay, so, uh, ang uh, pag-ano mo sa kanya is inadmissible. Okay, so, probably, usually, ang uh, kaso niya is inadmissible. Pag inadmissible, hindi tatanggapin sa korte. Okay, so, usually, nandidismiss. Okay? Ay, kasi that is unconstitutional. Okay, so, next is, uh, the law shall provide for penal and civil sanctions for violation of these sections, as well as compensation and rehabilitation of victims of torture, similar practices in their families. So, ayun, ayun nga, no, ang usual compensation natin dyan is nalidismiss ang kaso. Sa atin, uh, usually, uh, no, yun, ang, yun yung nangyayari sa atin. Okay, so, kapag may torture, except na lang, syempre, kung may torture na nangyayari dyan, or any, depende sa ano na sa scenario. Okay, so, yun, meron tayong kaakibat na sanctions for that. Okay. Okay, so uh, section 13, so uh, lahat ng tao, okay, so except those charges with offenses, punishable by reclusion perpetuo and evidence of guilt. So sino di pinapertain dito? Okay, so yung mga tao, okay, uh, still uh, under investigation. Ano? Okay, so may charge sila, uh, hindi pa naman totally talagang as in uh, convicted. Okay, so but an exception natin dito, hindi kasali yung mga, ang offense nila ay reclusion perpetuo. Okay, and that mabigat ang mabigat ang ano, ang ebidensya na guilty sila. Okay, so bisibihin yung mga grave offense. Yung mga tao na nakakasangkot sa mga grave offenses, sabihin na natin pagpatay, tapos mabigat ang ebidensya, hindi kasali dito. Okay, hindi kasali dito. No? Ano meron dito? Anong karapatan nila dito? So that is, uh, bago mag-conviction, sabi ko nga, di ba, hindi pa siya talaga totally uh, uh, tapos ang trial. Bago mag-conviction, so pwede sila mag-bail. Okay, so uh, be bailable by sufficient surety. So, pwede sila mag-bail, pwede sila mag-piansa. Okay, so, uh, but then, there is an another way. So, syempre, may ibang, pag sinabi kasi natin bail, mababaya, di ba? That is involving, uh, meron kang babayad o may property ka na, kumbaga, parang isasang lamo eh. O, to, para sure, sure na babalik ka in, in time na ikaw na ang uh, ita-trial. Okay, so, uh, aside with that, so, syempre, may mga mahihirap na tao, wala silang pambayad or wala silang 
uh, property na ipapalit for that, so they can have this one. They can have uh, uh, the recognizance na tinatawag natin. So there is a recognizance act, ha? Okay, so that recognizance, so ano bang konsepto niya? Okay, so you are an indigent person. May tinatawag tayong indigent person. Okay, so probably those indigent persons are uh, considered na mahirap. Okay, so ngayon, mahirap sila, wala silang pangpinansa, wala silang pangano dyan. So pwede pa na silang ma-release, ano? Uh, by virtue of what? So dapat meron silang, meron silang monitoring individuals. Pwede barangay official. Uh, basta hindi niya kamag-anak. Uh, may reputation na tao sa social welfare, the SWD. Okay, so uh, meron mag-monitor sa kanya. Okay, during the release. Okay, so na dapat iyan ay aaprobahan ng mayor, ng municipality, gano'n. Okay, so that is parang bail. Well, ang pinagkaiba lang dito, eh, so this is for indigent persons, ano, sa recognizance. Okay, so lahat ng yon, so uh, lahat ng yung mga tao na yon, except doon sa may grave offense, grave offense, mga kaso, magpatay, rape, uh, tapos mabigat ang ebidensya, they can have this right. Okay, so we can consider this right, ano, Uh, so, uh, pwede sila magbigay, mag-bail, pwede sila for recognizance. Okay, so uh, the right to bail should not be impaired even when the privilege of writ of habeas corpus is suspended. So, ganito, when you say uh, writ of habeas corpus, so uh, somewhat in the concept na uh, yung court nagre-request na dalhin nyo yung uh, prisoner dito kasi ang pinakaano nyo na dyan with the court is tama ba ang pagdetain sa kanya? Is the arrest uh, constitutional? Or that is an arbitrary arrest or arbitrary detention. Okay, so yun yung nga alamin nyo doon during, uh, that, doon yung sa pagharap ng ano ninyo, ay ng, ng ano ninyo, ng detainer, detainee ninyo. Okay, so yun ang issue ninyo na pagharap yun doon sa korte. No? Ngayon, suspended, kaya suspended yung kanyang Rita Vavillas Corpus. Okay, so kahit wala yun effect, ano, eh, so pwede pa rin siya mag-bail. Okay, or pwede siya for recognizance. Okay, so uh, except lang ano kung ang kanyang kaso is uh, pe ikang equivalent penalty or reclusion perpetua and that ang evidence ay mabigat. Okay, so ayun. Uh, so excessive, of course, excessive bail ay yung mga sobrang piyansa, eh, that is not required. Okay? Okay, so section 14, so uh, etong section 14, so more about ano to, ay so mga yun din, somewhat related to those persons. Uh, that is involving uh, for uh, criminal procedures. So, walang tao, okay, ang dapat sumagot sa criminal offense without due process of law. Okay, so lahat tayo, okay, so bago tayo, no, there should be a trial. So, yun, that's the usual, uh, ano natin, there should be legal proceedings. Okay, so, uh, unless that is already, that is what, uh, that is uh, unconstitutional. Okay? Okay, so, um, apart from that, Okay, so sa lahat, na ito naman sa prosecution naman to. Okay, sa lahat ng prosecution, so ayan. Uh, okay, so ang accused ay uh, dapat, ay uh, consider siya. Pag sinabing presumed innocent, presumed, inaano nyo lang, iniisip nyo, ganun. So dapat, hindi siya, kumbaga, kasi nyo pa sa sa prosecution, way back to your criminal uh, justice system, uh, na subject. Diba sa prosecution, what is uh, the goal uh, in that, ano, in that pillar? Eh, diba? That is uh, to establish a probable cause. Okay? So, but then, that probable cause na sinasabi natin, that's, that is not necessary na talagang patunayan yun na siya ay guilty. Okay? So, dapat, sa time na yan, eh, so, uh, you are still considering that that person is innocent. Okay? So, hindi, da, hindi lang, hindi ka, kung baga parang mahalap ka ng butas, ganun, hindi pwede yun. Okay? So, uh, what are you just uh, having that probable cause na ano ba? possible na atong ano natin accused natin ay innocent pa okay ano ba talaga nangyayari okay so na totally to pa to ano nag prove the guilt of that particular person ano okay so uh, now and at the same time ano during the time of prosecution okay so dapat ang ating uh, ang ating person under that ano no conflict okay, so ito ang kanya mga karapatan is so, isa natin the right to be heard by himself and the council. So, the right to be heard, the right to mapakinggan ka, hindi yung ano. Uh, so, you have this charge and then automatic, ano ka na, answer ka na ng uh, uh, sentensya, hindi pwede yun. Dapat makapagsalita ka rin para sa sarili mo. Patagpul mo sarili mo. Okay? So, uh, to be informed of the nature and cause of the accusation against him. So, maapalam sa kanya. Kaya nga, di ba, during the trial, dapat present, okay, ang ating uh, accused. Kasi, para malaman din kung bakit siya sinasabi na guilty. Okay, at bakit uh, ganito? Bakit kukulong ka lang ganito? Anong nangyayari? Ano bang kasalanan ng ginawa? 
Okay, so uh, anong dahilan kung bakit ka naakusahan? Ano yun ba yung ginawa mo? Okay, kasi di ba, there are uh, there are crime uh, that we uh, commit na ano, eh na, uh, possible na hindi natin alam na yan pala ay talagang labag sa batas kasi hindi naman siya naturalized. So merong ganun, di ba? Uh, that is just uh, wrong in the eyes of law. Okay, so dapat alam mo yon kung bakit ka na-charge ng ganun. Okay, so papaliwanan sa iyo, bakit? Ano ba sabi sa batas? O sa sabi sa batas, eto daw yun. Kapag ito mga ginawa mo, so you are already violating this particular law. Okay? Okay, so uh, another, so to have a speedy, impartial in public trial. So pa sinabi speedy, mabilis. Okay, na trial. Impartial, so walang kinikilingan. Okay, so public trial, so ibig sabihin, ano bang ano dyan? Ano bang um, sense, ano? Kung bakit public trial? Para may mga iba din nakikinig. Eh, to make it transparent, Ay, anong pinag-uusapan, di ba? So, that is open for the public. Ay, so, for transparency. So, syempre, exception lang. May mga exception tayo din na, ano, na, na cases, no? Okay? So, uh, that is part of uh, the right of a person under this uh, government. Ano, sa government ng Philippines. Okay? So, ayan yung speedy trial na yun. Di ba meron tayong, ano, uh, speedy trial act. Okay? Kaya nga tayo may mga, ano, eh, may mga... Tawag dito, may mga number of days, 180 days sa trial. Okay, so dapat hindi nag exit doon ay yung trial. Ewan ko lang in reality, ah. Yeah. Okay, but then, uh, yun talaga yung actually, eh. Yeah. Dapat hindi lalagpas sa 180. Unless that is allowed by the Supreme Court. Yun yung nakalagay doon sa batas, eh. Yeah. Okay, so sa prosecution, 30 days, 15 days, 30 days, ganon. Uh, that is part of uh, operationalizing this, uh, ano, section. Okay, dito sa Article 3 Bill of Rights. Okay, kaya ganon. Kaya may mga deadlines, deadlines yung may mga sinasa ulo kayong number of days. Okay, because of this one. Because of operationalizing, okay, uh, the right to have a speedy trial sa lahat ng criminal prosecutions. Okay, so uh, to meet the witnesses face to face, so ayan, so syempre, ay hindi pwede yung ano ha, yung parang sa mga investigador, investigador lang na nakablock lang yung mukha. So, ito yung witness mo, tapos nakablock ang mukha. Hindi yung pwede. Okay, so sa atin, ano, that is the right of, ano, no, of the accused na makita niya. Sino ba mga witness niya ng itsura? Oh, anong, ano dyan? At just may mga witness din ba siya? So dapat, uh, mayroon din siyang assurance na yung mga witness din na sa kanya, sa panig niya, ay eh, atin din. Okay, so uh, ganon. And so for, of course, that production of the evidence in his behalf. So yung mga evidence that is part of the right of that accused person. Against man yan, sa kanya. Okay? Okay, so however, after arraignment, okay, so the trial may proceed. So kapag arra patapos ng arraignment, ha? So kapag tapos sabihin, kumbaga, ano ang kaso niya. So pwedeng ang trial ay mag-proceed. Okay, lumakad na yan kahit wala ang kakusado. Okay, so uh, unless hindi siya notified. So dapat nanonotify din siya. Okay, so di kaya meron talagang uh, mga justifiable circumstances. Sabihin na natin na talagang nagkasakit or what. So, syempre, ibahalaga din yung presensya ng accused natin para malaman niya kung bakit siya guilty. Okay, so ba't din pwede siyang pwede magtuloy yon yung trial again sa kanya as long as tapos ng arraignment. Okay, so that is part of the section 14, ano? Okay, so subsection number 2. Okay, so section 15, okay, so the privilege of the writ of avias corpus shall not be suspended except in cases of invasion. Okay, and rebellion when the public safety requires it. Okay, so ito kasi yun, Yung privilege of uh, rate of avias corpus, you are requesting ay to furthermore investigate ano, kung ang detention ba sa kanya or arrest sa kanya ay really constitutional. Tama ba? Legal ba ang pag-arrest sa kanya? May legal ground ba? Tama ba ang, ang naging paraan para siya ay i-detain or siya ay arrest? Kaya kasi kapag hindi, kapag hindi tama, eh so pwede kasi may possibility na maging uh, inadmissible or pwedeng uh, talagang madismiss ang kaso. There is a possibility with that. Ano? Okay, so but then, there are exception. Ay kung yan ay rebellion, okay, or kung yan ay, uh, ano, no, kung yan ay uh, against uh, the public safety. Okay, so syempre, aarresto mo siya in all ways, di ba? Okay, ano, pinabababarin niya yung ano dyan, yung majority ng ano dyan, mga tao dyan sa building na yan. So there are all, uh, lahat ng paraan para ma-aresto niya siya, gagawin ninyo. Okay, so whether it's not uh, legal already or uh, what. Okay, so exception yun. Okay, so other than those cases, so pwede siya may privilege for rate of abeyas corpus. Okay? Okay, so uh, next, section 16, so all persons shall have the right of speedy disposition of their cases before judicial, partial judicial, administrative body. So ito na sinasabi ko rin kanina. No? Okay, so lahat ng tao, so meron silang karapatan for mabilis na 
paglakad uh, ng kanilang kaso. Okay, so yun nga ang dahilan kung bakit uh, meron tayong uh, speedy trial act. Okay. Okay. So section 17, so no person shall be compelled to be a witness against himself. So ito rin yun yung sinasabi kanina with uh, what section is that? Section 12, di ba? Uh, so kapag ito, ito ay uh, violated, okay, uh, proven violated, ano, gano'n lang, talagang parang pinilit nyo lang siyang maging against sa sarili niya, umamin ng ano naman, eh, so that could be inadmissible sa, sa court. Kung ano man yun, kung confession man yun or what. Okay? Okay, so uh, next section 18, so uh, this is uh, dalawa, di ba? Okay, so no person shall be detained solely by reason of his political beliefs and aspirations. So probably this is your right to religion and right to your political beliefs. Ano? And that is part of our um, UDHR and uh, in international law. Natin. So we have adopted it. Okay, so uh, no involuntary servitude in any form shall exist except, upon punish except as a punishment for a crime. Okay, so no involuntary servitude. Okay, so meron din kasi tayo di bang uh, servitude. Okay, so uh, whenever uh, we uh, commit crime, so okay lang yun as long as that is part of your punishment. Okay, or convicted ka na. Okay, so uh, ganon. Uh, unless, if that is not part of it, you are just a casual person na meron na uh, nagano sa'yo, so that is already uh, violating our law. So may RPC, meron din tayong uh, mga special penal laws for that. Okay? Uh, so section 19, so that is what excessive fine shall not be imposed. So hindi syempre... Uh, Ah, uh, ano to sa mga punishment to eh. Okay, so hindi dapat sobra ang mga fines sa mga ano natin, ano. So nor cruel, degrading or inhumane punishment inflicted ay eh, sa mga malulupet at hindi makatao mga punishment, ano, puputulan ka ng dila, hindi pwede 'yon. Okay? Okay, so neither shall the death penalty be imposed. Okay? So uh, hindi rin pwedeng death penalty unless Ay, you take note about this one, ha? Nakalagay sa Constitution natin. Ano ba? For heinous crime ba yan? Okay, neither shall the, the death penalty be imposed unless for compelling reasons involving heinous crime. Pag heinous crime, mga grave offenses. So, uh, before we have, uh, di ba? Uh, we have uh, sa mga ano yan, sa mga kasang pagpatay, mga grabe ang ano, uh, kaso. So, we impose death penalty. Uh, so, uh, if that is not for heinous crimes, then that is unconstitutional. Okay? Any death penalty, ayan, so ayan, naka-highlight dyan ha, for heinous crimes. Okay, so uh, any death penalty already imposed shall be reduced to reclusion perpetua. Okay? As so a section 19, so the employment of physical, psychological, or degrading punishment against any prisoner or detainee, or the use of substandard or inadequate penalty facilities under subhuman conditions shall be dealt with law. Okay, so yun ano, so lahat naman ng mga punishment natin, di ba? Okay, so psychological punishment, so I think uh, dito involved yung kapag sa mental institution natin sila ayan, ano, as part of their imprisonment. So uh, that is all, dapat lahat yan ay nagbibigil sa batas. So dapat lahat yung nakasaad sa batas, hindi pwedeng ang punishment na ano natin dyan, ipapato natin dyan. Wala naman doon sa ano, nakasaad na penalty dyan sa kaso na yan. Uh, diba, halos lahat naman sa RPC, yung mga penalties doon is nakalagay. Ano, ito yung kaso, tapos dapat ang penalty nakalagay din doon. Eh, kung ano nakalagay na penalty doon, yun yung ano natin sa kanya, ipapato natin sa kanya. Kasi syempre, yung mga degree doon, ay yung pag-elevate natin doon, so depende yun kung gaano kalala ang ano niya, di ba? Pag-commit niya ng offense. So lahat dapat yung ipapato ng punishment is nando doon, ano, sa kung ano nakalagay sa batas. Okay? As so, a section 20, so no person shall be imprisoned for death. Okay, so wala dapat makukulong dahil lang sa utang. Okay? So and then, or uh, siya di pa babayad ng buwis. Okay, so uh, ganito, no? so meron tayong mga crime, ano, sabi natin that is punishing uh, some sort of death, so may staff pa tayo. But then kasi diba, yung mga kaso na yun, that is bound by fraud. Ano? So that, that is bound by fraud. So uh, may mga ano siya, may mga panluloko na kasama. Okay, kaya siya ay nakukulong. But then uh, a typical uh, uh, na hindi pa bayad sa utang, so that is not, uh, uh, that is not, ano, uh, that is not, uh, uh, violating the Constitution. Okay? Okay, so no person should be twice put in jeopardy. Okay, so ito, uh, this is part also of your criminal justice system. So, bawal ang double jeopardy, di ba? Okay, so ano ba yung double jeopardy? Okay, so double, ano ang jeopardy? Okay, so uh, dalawang beses nyo siyang uh, trinayal. Okay? Dalawang beses siyang trinayal. Okay, so ito ang kanyang kaso, in this particular court, nagkaroon na ng trial, tapos sa isang court, yung trial din regarding doon sa kaso niya na yun. That is not okay. And that is not, ano, no, constitutional. Okay, so ngayon, 
Ay, so kung uh, ano siya, so sabi dito, if an act is, um, if an act is punished by law and on ordinance, ay, so uh, conviction or acquittal. So sabihin na natin na ano nga, talagang uh, ganun pa rin yung kaso niya, ganun pa rin ang nature ng kaso niya. Dapat, separate prosecution. So magkada kayo ng another prosecution for that. Bago kayo mag-ano ng trial. So, hindi pwede. Alam ba? Kasi sabihin na natin parehong-parehong pare, pare, yung nature ng kaso niya. Ng pag-commit niya ng crime ngayon. Sa noon. So, uh, ganun ulit. Sa another prosecution. Trial na ulit. Diretso trial na ulit. Hindi pwede. Another prosecution. Okay? Okay. So, section 22. So, uh, this one. No ex post facto law or bill of attainder shall be enacted. Okay? So, uh, pa sinabi niya ex post facto law. Okay, so, that is uh, what? Okay, so dito muna tayo. Dalawa yan na, magkaiba yan. Okay, so walang ex post facto law or wala ding bill of attainder na dapat may enact. Okay, so ex post facto law, eh, so if you recall that one, so uh, ex post facto is literally, uh, ang ibig sabihin niya ay retroactive. Okay, so retroactive. Mas sinabi retroactive, pabalik. Okay, so paano pabalik? Okay, so uh, sabihin na natin na ganito. Okay, so uh, April uh, 1. Example nito, uh, April 1, uh, 2020. Example lang ah. Eh, so uh, ikaw ay nag-back ride. Walang ano, walang barrier. Walang barrier. Noong time na yon, inosente ka wala kang ginawang krimen. Okay, di ba? But then, noong April 10, nagkaroon ng batas. Okay, so dapat kapag mag-aangkas ka sa motor, merong barrier. Okay, so ngayon, ano mangyayari diyan? Eh, so noong April 10, sasabihin na lahat, okay, mula noong uh, April 1. Okay, na mga walang mga barrier yung mga motor. Okay, na nag-angkas is uh, punishable by this law. Okay, so is it okay? That, that is not uh, that is not constitutional why? Kasi ang tawag doon ex post facto law yon. Bakit? Kasi retroactive pabalik. Okay, and that is not that is not allowed, okay, in our constitution. So walang ex post facto law. So ibig sabihin, kung ikaw April 1 May ba wala kang barrier na nag-angkas. Wala kang, wala kang ano, wala kang pananagutan sa batas. Ay, may pananagutan ka lang sa batas kung uulitin mo yon ng April 11. Kasi April 10, nagkaroon na ng ganitong batas. Okay? So, ganun. Ganun ang ex post facto law. Another, wala rin bill of attainder, ano? Pag sinabing bill of attainder, ibig sabihin, uh, you are charged with this particular offense. Wala nang trial. Diretso ka na. Diretso ka na, ano ka na, diretso ka na to answer the sentence. That is bill of attainder. So, walang ganon. Wala dapat i-create na batas na diretso. Diretso punishment, walang trial. Okay? So, ganon. Bill of attainder. Okay? So, uh, that's it. And so, that's it uh, for uh, the Article 3 uh, Bill of Rights of our 1987 Constitution ng Philippines. So, those are the rights that we are considering, the set of rights we are considering ano, in our type of government today. Okay? So, syempre, ew ewan natin sa mga susunod na, ano, susunod na taon. Uh, basta ngayon, itong latest, the 1987 Philippine Constitution. Okay? So, uh, yun lang naman yung mga salient uh, topics that you have uh, I want you to know about and that you have to know about in your field ano, ay both uh, security management and both uh, political science. Okay, so uh, hopefully, ay, so yan ay magamit ninyo in the future. Okay, so um, ang hihingi na ng mga bata dito, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, so uh, again, the final examination is from uh, the top. Okay, so that is uh, from uh, the intro to, intro to human rights and then until this one. Article 3 Bill of Rights. So itong project, Okay, so, ayan ay uh, isend ninyo sa mga kanya-kanya yung Google Drive sa section and then your section representative will send me the link of your Google Drive. Okay, so the deadline is uh, before the final exam week. So, until this week only. Okay, so uh, you check the syllabus what is uh, the exact deadline about it. Okay, so uh, good luck. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.